What's up guys? This is Aperture 115 and I'm here with voice actress extraordinaire Sarah Sarah Ann Williams. How are Hi. you? Hi, I'm great. Awesome. So my first question is, how many years have you been acting professionally? I would say about six years now. Because I know I had a year when not much happened when I first moved out here, but I think after that first year I started to book a little a little and a little and a little more. So <laughs> Alright, so my second question is um, can you describe your, uh, the recording process for Sword Art Online? Yeah. Uh, well, first uh, they sent out auditions for everybody to you know read and try out for, and I recall auditioning for Asuna and Lisbeth and uh, Lifa, and I got Lisbeth. So then they had me come in for. They basically kind of go go in order. They don't like really jump around a lot. So I had to wait a little bit for my episode to pop up, which is episode seven when she first comes in. And uh, then I went in and we went through the episode and recorded it. And um, yeah, pretty much. Mm. Um, yeah, Sword Art Online is <laughs> one of my favorite shows and Lisbeth is my favorite character. Like, I wish she, she can have a boyfriend right now, like Klein, definitely. Oh Klein. no, I ship her and Klein. Yeah. I ship that. <laughs> that is that is my sword art ship. That yes. that needs to happen, please. Yeah. What what was the creator's name? Re Reki Kawabara. It's like please, sir, please make that a thing. Did you talk to Kirk about that? The voice actor of Klein about that? About the whole ship? No, but I no. totally joke about it with <laughs> him if I could. It's just like Klein, like Kirk, our characters need to get together. This yeah. is the thing. Yeah, definitely. Like and also, I actually talked to the talked to, excuse me, I talked to Sherry about this. Like, I would like to see some sort of spinoff with Lisbeth, actually, like the Sword Online Chronicles or the untold stories of uh, Sword Online. Like, I think they have a manga for that that focuses on the girls. I don't know if they'll ever animate it. Yeah, I would love to see a dub. You, Cassandra, Christine, that'd be so awesome. Can you describe your first experience working on Kill a Kill? Oh God, I was <laughs> I was way excited to be on that show, and just um, it was yeah, it was interesting. It was one of the few times that it doesn't happen all the time, but it tend it does tend to happen occasionally. But um, I had I had the director, I had the person from Aniplex, and I had the uh, I had the the uh, casting uh, person in the all in the booth with me, not with me, but like on their side, and I'm on my side, and um. <laughs> And they were sort of making, I think it was sort of that first session thing where it's sort of like, I had the part, but you never know if maybe they change their mind. So it's sort of like they're watching me to make sure I'm getting it. And it was a little, and I had a different, I was doing it a little differently at first where I was making her very, very uh, cutesy. And um, they were sort of like, mm, maybe uh, one more time, you know, and um, I, I finally came out with a take that he was like, hang on, hold it. Listen to that take, right? And, and hang on to that attitude. And I listened, and I suddenly, and suddenly the key word in my mind for Nono became brat. And I was like, okay, focus on that theme. And, and that's when her character popped out. I was like, not intentionally, but sort of it's just that running theme in my head that's like, it's like, remember the word brat when you're doing this character because that <laughs> makes her character come out right. What makes your job as a voice actress interesting compared to other careers? It's creatively fulfilling, and that's something that you a lot of people I don't think get to say and it's really sad that they don't because I think that's sort of what makes a jo any kind of job worth doing is if it if it satisfies you on some kind of creative level or fulfills you somehow and that's what voice acting does for me it's like it's I'm, I'm creating stuff and I'm like I'm like stretching myself and challenging myself and 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 working and, and finding out facets of my personality that I didn't even know existed like years ago. I wouldn't have known. And now I do and I'm sort of like taking that and using it and it's, it's really cool. Can you improv a line as Elizabeth and Nonon? Well, uh, I mean with no known, like like there's a thing there's a thing in voice acting where like you've been asked the question like, well how do you remember how to get back into a character? And it's like because there is Nine times out of ten, always a line. There's always one line that gets you back into character. All you have to do is say it out loud in the character voice and you're back. And with No Known, it was the line for Nona was basically just her, it's the first line she ever says, and that's what I used to get back to character. It's like, How shocking. The toad, the monkey, and the dog all screwed up big time. 
and then it's like, and eh, no one's back. <laughs> and um, with Lizbeth, I think it was just, um, usually it's just doing her, her open days. Welcome to Lizbeth's Blacksmith Shop. And I'm like, and there's Lizbeth. Where can fans follow you on social media? Do you have like a website? Um, best way to follow me right now is to follow me on Twitter, which is at Sarah Ann Willia, which is basically at Sarah Ann Williams, but minus the MS because I couldn't fit that in. So, um, and you know, if, if you're a Skullgirls player, you'll recognize it. It's got Peacock, Peacock with yeah, the, the with the yeah. uh, not the hat. It's a it's the game controller on oh. her head, and she's playing it on top of her head like that with her big arms. So that's uh, that's probably right now the best way to find me because I'm pretty active on Twitter right now. All right then, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Yep. All right, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next Aperture One One Five interview.